What good is that? What, I don't want to be a murmurer and a complainer. Oh, man, what are we doing out here in this wilderness you know, and everything else? Well, how about you do something about it? Right? We complain about politics all day long. We complain about this, complain about that. Why don't you do something to fix the problem? Right? Instead of just complaining and just let other people figure it out. If you're not willing to do something about it, then, then shut your mouth and stop complaining. That's the attitude that I take. Okay? And this is why when I was kind of getting upset and everything with, with political issues, well, hey, then why don't I do something? Why don't I get involved? Why don't I start getting active in, in whatever, right? But it didn't take long, because thank God I was also going to a good church at the time that helped me get a proper biblical perspective on how we can be used the most valuably to make change in the world that we live in. Because of the political side of things, it's a facade. You're not really going to get the change that's needed in a country to help fix the problems in a country. It's not going to come through politics. Guarantee you, you're not going to get it that way. And uh, I'll get into it in a minute. In Leviticus 18 and 20, we're going to see why God judges nations. Why do nations crumble? Why do things deteriorate and get worse? It's not because of the politics. It's not because of the leader in charge. It's because of the people. And I mean, just think about this. We're all, we're all believers here, right? We all believe the word of God. Who here believes that the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword? Amen. 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 All right. Yeah, I believe the same thing. There's power in the Word of God. Now, who believes that the Word of God contains an, an infinite amount more power than any Word of man? Amen. Amen. Right? The Word of God is the light. The Word of God is the truth. So, if you want to make a change, and especially a change using words, because when people are politicians, what are they doing? They're using their words to try to, to get votes and get influence and everything else. Well, you know what words I want to use? I want to use the Word of God. And I'm going to bring the Word of God, and I want to use this truth to go out there and reach people, because you know what? That's going to have the most dramatic change that you can have on anyone. When, it, when you could show people the Word of God being the truth, and they accept that truth, that alters a life forever. Forever. When you can bring somebody eternal life, their life is changed forever. And once you do that, see, Satan blinds the eyes of the people of this world. Sin blinds the eyes of the people of this world. And if you can expose that and uncover that and free people from the bondage of sin, guess what? You've made a lot of change. You've, you've done something. You've done something very valuable. And what I do is, hey, if we can at least lead people to Christ, these other issues will work themselves out. The more people you can get focused, trained, discipled, looking at the Word of God, and I don't care if they go to this church or not, if we get people here in this book, that will change the way they think about everything. Now I don't got to worry about their politics because they should be using this as their source of truth to determine their own politics for them. To determine the morality, determine everything else for them. I don't need to tell you how to vote. If I got you in here, I'm not even worried about it. It's pretty easy to discern right from wrong once you're in this book. This is where the effective change is. And I encourage anyone who's, who's thinking about or whatever in politics, if you have time to invest in anything, invest it in the work of the Lord. Because any amount of time that you're spending in politics, that's all going to be done away with in this world. You can be saved, standing before the judgment of Christ, and be like, but God, I got this whole voting block of people out to elect this person to this office. And yeah, I mean, there's still, we had to deal with government and everything else. But, you know, we got a couple of bills through that were pretty good. You just say, I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> right? How many people did you bring to Christ? Yeah. 